Welcome to Brittany. This is the Bretagne Classique West France World Tour race. 16 of 19 world teams on the start line. Bora Hansgrohe being a late withdrawal due to a COVID positive. Today's course, 247.8 kilometers. First, we go all the way up north to saint brieuc then come back south again and enter the local circuit just before the Côte du Pont Neuf for one local 13.6 kilometer lap. Our breakaway of the day with Joey Roskop, Floris de Tier, Will Clark, Alex Catterford, Sandos Bisigitov, and Remy Cavagna, and working in the peloton for Luca Mesketch on Mitchelton Scott. Attack from the breakaway by Remy Cavagna of the, the Koenig Quickstep team on one of those little hills we have plenty of in Brittany. Following the attack are two riders from the original breakaway, Joey Roskopf and Floris de Tier. But everything comes back together in the final of today's race. Very challenging course, luckily for the men. The rain stopped, the rain plummeting down on the women this morning in the Grand Prix de Plouet, won by Lizzie Dijknen. Beautiful green and lush landscape there as Remy Cavagna gets caught by the first riders from the background peloton all together and new attacks flying all over the place with the riders from Groupama FDG and also the Koning Quickstep. One more hour of racing and a peloton led there by Quinn Simmons, the junior world champion from Yorkshire. He had a remarkable good race today. New breakaway with Harm van Hooker, Albert Torres and Robert Stannett for Mitchelton Scott. But their lead is only a few hundred meters or 34 seconds in time. They get caught, Harm van Hooker here of the Lotto Soudal team and Albert Torres of Movistar by Olivier Lejac. He is from Brittany, the former junior world champion. But as we head into that local lap of 13.6 kilometers, everything comes back together. It was a really, really hard race, almost 250 kilometers, and the peloton is not as big as it was this morning. Counter-attack there by the man from Cofidis, Victor Lavaille, but we go towards the Gout du Pont Neuf, one and a half kilometers, 4.2% average, and it's over for Lavaille. Peloton led there by Henao, his first race back since 16th of February. Then we have a first group where Garcia Cortina tries to jump across. He doesn't make it. First group with Matthews, Mesketch, Eekhoff, De Gent and Mede Gent, Quinn Simmons, Fideli. And they are going to sprint for the win. Or is Niels Eekhoff going to continue there with Florian Sinichel? Eekhoff working for Michael Matthews. But Eekhoff being almost or maybe the strongest man in the race, but he stops this attack. And then the sprint starts between Mesketch and Matthews. Matthews, this is his seventh Bretagne Classique. He's been fourth twice and fifth once. He's never won the race, and this is an easy sprint for him. He wins by beating Luca Mesketch, and there's all the time in the world to celebrate. Mesketch in second, Sinichal in third. What a powerful sprint there by Michael Matthews, not going to the Tour de France. And look how Niels Eikhoff also celebrates the win of Matthews because it was also thanks to Eikhoff that Matthews was able to sprint for the win against Mesketch. Sinichel also goes to the podium and the rest of the top 10. Eme de Gent, Alessandro Fideli, Quinn Simmons, Niels Eikhoff, Dan McClay, Anthony Roux and Yuki Arashiro. <laughs>